So I had a pretty fun time with this week's episode. Rogue was a bit melodramatic in a couple of places, but a fun story nonetheless and very witty. As someone who typically isn't a fan of Doctor romances, I was pleasantly surprised that I enjoyed the relationship between the Doctor and Rogue, and found the Dimensions in Time slash Schalke reference amusing. It reinforced a question I've been asking myself for quite a while now. As a Doctor Who fan, am I too restrictive about certain creative choices? With a show like this, and having so many eras and alternative takes on how Doctor Who is done, we naturally have our favour and preferences for how Doctor Who is being told. I know a lot of people prefer, say, the Matt Smith, Tennant and Tom Baker era to others, but do we let our preferences and flavours cloud our judgement? Do we let the type of Doctor Who that we prefer make episodes which aren't quite similar to that or do their own thing make more harsh judgments on it which it doesn't really deserve it's trying to do something different and that should be commended i think it's fair to say that shooting at was doctor probably cries a bit too much and in the case of this particular episode i don't think it deserves it's um very dramatic ending considering how farcical most of the episode is but I think it's unfair to say that the Doctor should never cry or fall in love. It's something that fans can appreciate when it's done well, rather than just dismissing it outright. So it's probably just a case of how often it's used, and the varied flavours of Doctor Who across a season really helps to keep it fresh. Also, in the case of putting Rich D. Grant in the Doctor lineup, it should be seen as a fun in. It should be seen as a fun easter egg and not something that needs to be desperately explained and put on a non-existent timeline. To be fair, the show itself does somewhat enable this mindset a lot of the time, retreading familiar ground like with Ruby's characterization. She's a character that I really like but having taken so much influence from other companions like Clara or Amy and Rose Inevitably, it's going to lead to questions about whether she's better or worse than them, rather than being judged on her own merits. And maybe to a lesser extent, the character of Rogue being very fam- being somewhat like Captain Jack. Though, to be fair, the handsome Rogue character is a fairly old trope at this point, so that one's a bit of a stretch in my opinion. But... I'm curious to know what people think of this subject. Are Doc 2 fans too restrictive in their views? Or should we be a bit more open-minded? Let me know if you'd like me to cover more of this subject in the future. And I'll see you next time.